Hello, Math Champions. Today we are going to learn about greatest and smallest. I have three numbers for you here, and you are going to tell me which one is the greatest, which one is the smallest. First number, 71. Second number, 27. Third number, 53. So tell me, which is the greatest? So when we look at these three numbers, how to tell which is the greatest? We look at the tens, right? We look at the tens because the tens, the one with the biggest tens will be the biggest number. So tell me, is seven, two or five the greatest? Hopefully your answer is seven because seven is the greatest, right? So 71 will be the greatest number. Okay, so we cancel that off, no more. We're gonna not care about it anymore. Now, which is the smallest? Look at the tens again. Is two the smallest or five the smallest? It's two. So 27 will be the smallest number. Let's do more questions now. Now in this question, we have three numbers again, 33, 43, 73. Which number, tell me, is the greatest? So, are we going to look at the tens or the ones? It is the tens, right? So look over here, here and here. Which number is the greatest? Is it 3, 4 or 7? Seven? 7, right? So 73 is the greatest. We cancel that off and write it over here. 73 is the greatest. Now tell me, which is the smallest? Look at 3 and look at 4. Which is the smallest, three or four? Don't look at the ones. It's three, so 33 is the smallest, and we cancel that out. All right, we are done with this question. Let's move on. Now we have three numbers again. Tell me which number is the greatest, 41, 47, 43. So once again, look at the tens, which is the greatest? Oh no. All of them are the same. Four tens, four tens, four tens. So what do we do when all the tens are the same? We look at the ones, ones, ones. So which of the ones is the greatest? Is it one, seven or three? Seven, right? So let's cancel this off. 47 is the greatest, right? When all the tens are the same, Look at the ones. Now tell me, which is the smallest? Look at the ones, right? Look at the ones. Don't look at the tens this time. So one is the smallest. So 41. Cancel that off. And we are done. 47 greatest, 41 small. Okay, final question before we play some games. Which number is the smallest? Look for the smallest. Look at the tens. Look at the tens. Which is the smallest? Three, seven, or five? Three, right? So three, the D6 is the smallest. Cancel off. Now, which is the greatest? Greatest, seven tens. So 74 is the greatest, okay? Now let's play some games.
going to use the number chart to do greatest and smallest. And as you can remember, as we go upwards to the top, the number becomes greater and greater. And as we go down, the numbers become smaller and smaller. Okay, so I'm going to give you three numbers now. And you're going to tell me which one is the greatest and which one is the smallest. Okay, so number. These are the three numbers. Let's find them. Where is the number 36? It's over here. Right, so that I'm going to put a small mark here so we know. Okay, where is number 73? It's over here. I'm going to put a small tick here. And where is number 24? Let's find it over here. Okay, so which is the smallest? Which number is the lowest down in the chart? It's 24. So 24 is the smallest. Which one is the greatest? The number that is the highest in the chart is number 73. Okay, let's try another one. So three new numbers here. Let's find out which is the greatest, which is the smallest. Let's find all three numbers on the number chart. Where is number 60? Hello, you're over here. And where is 86? Hello, you're over here. And where is 73? Hello, over here. Which is the smallest? The one lowest down on the chart is 60. So 60 is the smallest. Done. Which is the greatest? The number that is highest up, which is 86. So 86 is the greatest. 60 is the smallest. So what happens when all the numbers look like this? Let's find out which is the greatest and smallest. Okay, let's find 43 over here. Where is 49? Over here. Where is 41? Over here. Okay, let's look at the numbers. They're all on the same line. Look at that. All of them are on the same line. None of them are high and none of them are low. All of them are the same. So when all of them are the same, what do we do? We look at the numbers to the right. Because when we look at the numbers to the right, they are going greater and greater and bigger. So which is the biggest, greatest number. It's 49. So 49 is the greatest. Okay? And which is the smallest number? It's the number that is going this way, to the left. As we go to the left, we are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So the number over here is the smallest. What number is that? It's 41. Okay? So let's do this example. Which number is the greatest and which is the smallest? Let's find number 66 over here. 26 is over here. 36 over here. All of them are on the same line. Let's look at which is the greatest, the one highest up the chart. Which one is it? 66 is the greatest, okay? And which is the smallest, the lowest down on the chart? 26, all right. We are now done with the lesson, knowing how to find the greatest and the smallest. Let's play a few examples using the number chart.